One that they say shall never end. You're about to hear some deep revelation, expose. You're about to hear what you have never heard before. You see, Wumi has refused to say the truth, but the truth must be said. The truth must be put out there. The truth must be leaked, regardless of who is trying to hide it or not. You all know that Prime Boy has been kept in the custody of the Nigerian police, and you'll be wondering what are they really keeping Prime Boy for? According to Wumi, there was a fight that she did not see. She was not there. She was not privy to it. And she said later, it's some bad. It had just a little scratch. How then did that little scratch metamorphose into RIP? Is it possible? Well, let us go down to the nurse. The story is that the nurse gave him an injection and he had a bad reaction. When the nurse returned to see who he had been administering medication to, he realized that they had poured water on him and she asked why. And they said, this is how he normally faints. Now, there is a guy called Darusha. Darusha is a younger brother to Mubat's mom. Simply put, he is Mubat's uncle. Well, now, Wumi was asked, what do you know about Sam Larry? Because ever since you came here at the inquest, all that you have been talking about is Naira Mali. But Naira Mali was not in Nigeria. Did Naira Mali ask you to do this? Who sent you? Who paid you? Who commanded? Who gave the order? What happened? Did you people administer something else to the IV line? Well, you'll be listening to everything. You know, the autopsy um, is not uh, for public consumption, but uh, we have a way of getting to know what and what is in that autopsy report. And you've been listening to some of it. Kudos to our investigative journalist. Yes, kudos to her. She has done some due diligence. According to her, she said that autopsy was leaked. And when the journalist passed it down to her and she saw it, in fact, there is more to what the eyes can see. Prime boy, prime boy, prime boy. Now, why is this case not looked into the way it is supposed to be looked into? The Nigerian police are very comfortable in nailing down one person, prime boy and the nurse. That's all. They want to wrap it up with that. But you know this will go to the court. Now, 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 let us look at it this way. Prime boy said, Wumi had a fight with Mobad. Why is it that the Nigerian police are interested only in the fight between prime boy and Mobad? Even though Wumi confirmed that it was Mubad that attacked Prime Boy first. Now, if you look at the face of Darusha, and many of those guys that live with Mubad, all of them, they only, they, if you look at their face, it's so rough. It shows that they fight a lot. They fight a lot when they are high. Everyone is trying to show supremacy. I'm stronger than you. I'm this than you. They fight a lot of things. These are a wild set of people. But then, justice must be served. Justice must be served. Now, as per the DNA, you know, Mubad sang it in his song called Wumi Transformer. You know what Transformer means? Transformer breaks down power, electricity into your homes. And they service different homes. In fact, they can service thousands of houses at the same time, depending on the capacity. What kind of Transformer is Wumi? Well, Mubad, according to his father, and this is so, in fact, this thing is so touching. Let, let us first go into this uh, uh, deep, deep one that I want you guys to listen to. And we will be talking more. Before we proceed, like and share this video. Tap on the thanks button to encourage this channel to do more. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell if you have not done so. L let us listen and we'll talk more. And your comments are highly appreciated. Yes, drop your comment. Yes, drop it down there below. It's very, very, very important. Mobad's case is a homicide. The police has refused to deem it a homicide. The chief of police for Lagos State, Mr. Idowo Owonha, is a very modernly trained police officer. A lot of the evidence in this case has been destroyed. There is blood evidence. There's blood evidence which should have been sealed by forensics. A bloody duvet and bloody clothes. Where did the blood come from? Mobad was stabbed in the neck. There was a laceration to his neck, according to his autopsy. You will not see the autopsy. It's not made public. 
it leaked into the hands of one journalist. And I looked at it very well. Whether Mobad was suffering at the end with all the damn drugs that they gave him, trial and error, guinea pig, or they wanted to kill him on purpose, somebody ended his life. Maybe they wanted to end his misery. There are many people involved. There's powerful people and there's money. So if you want to learn, learn. If you don't want to learn, fuck off my page. I don't have the time. Okay, I've given you the opportunity to be able to comment on my posts by unarchiving all my investigations because I'm retiring February 9th after 30 years. And I told you that. Once I retire, you can read my archives while I'm gone. If I leave it open. A lot of my better fans, the good ones, want me to leave my archives open. I'm not going to be online anymore. I'm giving you the last of what I have to do. I'm moving on with my life. I don't have time for your bullshit. I don't even live in Nigeria anymore. You're still out here abusing me and calling me names. Mobad's common law wife, Wumi, has no marriage certificate. So she's going to have a hard time getting any of his royalties from his music. There is no marriage certificate. They just did a common law marriage. The police believe that Prime Boy was the one that really killed Mobad because he started a chain of events that led to his death. They're never going to be able to prove that in a court of law. Who lacerated Mobad in the neck? That we even saw some of that blood in the casket. That his neck was twisted like it was deflated like a balloon. Don't even start me. I've been doing this job for 30 years. I'm a trained investigative journalist. Now, don't you fucking ask me to give you evidence of anything. This is the nonsense that David Hunter started. As a journalist, you protect the source. You do not give anybody evidence of nothing. If you want evidence, hire a lawyer, sue me. I'm telling you, Prime Boy had a sexual relationship with Wumi. Wumi aborted a baby. Sometimes in August, whose baby did she abort? She delivered a baby in April. Between April and August, she was having sex with someone and she had a termination of pregnancy. I think I'm going to be doing videos for you guys instead of bullshit, posting, posting, posting. You at Instagram don't even support me. You don't donate. You just want the news. So at the Facebook. I'll continue over there. The next post I put on Instagram will be a while. And when I say a while, maybe like after Christmas. I'm tired of the disrespect. How many people are investigating this case? It's the same old shit. Look on the page. Or our money, Whitney. Bamiche, does the mainstream media go the extra mile that I do? Koza, Debanch, no, they don't. Because they're puppet media. People control them. I tweeted nine times, Wumi killed Mobad. You think I can just write anything I have? What did that black, very dark black man tell Wumi and her family? That is Shusuke Miolunlayo. If they don't think something's right. The fact that I don't live in Nigeria doesn't mean you can't sue me. Falano is an international lawyer. Him and his wife. Go hire them. The only thing is defamation. It's not criminal. It's civil over here. They don't arrest people. I'm going to put that thing in the lights in the international media. In arresting journalists because of what? The Nigerian police has covered up the case. Someone who paid a lot of money for everybody to do their jobs. They took a forensic body and blood. 
body fluids and blood and they took it abroad. They said, that's what they told you. Toxicology tests in America. I thought it was a joke when I saw that. Is Mobad the first person to die? Is Mobad the first person to get a toxicology test? No. Why did his go to America? Elaborate cover up. After they drugged the boy with every single treatment drug they claimed they were treating him, what happened? They wanted to quickly bury him. The father was looking for a police report to put him overnight in a mortuary. They denied him a police report because Wumi's mother had already used her influence with that DPO. They wanted to get rid of his body fast. The man tried to bury the boy at night. They wouldn't allow it. Then he buried him the next day. Little did they know that they were going to exhume Obad and see all the shit they did to him. Welcome back. Did you hear that? Wumi RIP'd Mobad. You might be wondering what this is all about. Why is Wumi being tagged along? Well, at the beginning, when we saw the narrative of Gislova, the disgraced blog, everyone started suspecting foul play. At first, people fell into that uh, trend. People fell into that emotion, sentiment. People fell into it because they believed that Gislova often will put up. But if you look at Gislova, what does Gislova really do? Gislova will only expose secret affair, which at the end of the day makes no difference. It doesn't matter. Are you going to put out stories about, uh, you know, you know, a, a politician? What, 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 what is it about a politician? It, it, that, the culture in Nigeria is different. You cannot put out pictures or videos of a politician that has a girlfriend or side chick and you think that the marriage of that politician will crash. No, not at all. It doesn't make sense. So it's not like Gislova is an investigative platform that brings out who looted this, who looted that. No, what Gislova does is just this, you know, um, social affair. I mean, entertainment industry, who, who is dating who, who went with who. That's what Gislova serves to people. And of course, people go there, read, and they are like, oh, this person is dead. Does it really affect those people? Maybe it does affect them if they are married and they don't want their spouse to know what they're doing. Now, let's leave that aside. Now, let's get back on, on track. You know, Prime Boy, like I said, how can it be proved in court that Prime Boy R.I.P. Mobad? Thank God that Prime Boy left and he didn't go home with Mobad. If he had gone home, when he was calling, he said he was calling Mobad. Wumi. Mobad didn't pick up the call. He called Wumi saying, I want to come pick up my bag. And they said, no, don't come. Wumi said, don't come, don't come. They were trying to hide what was happening. They don't want him to see because if he had come in to see, he would be like, wait, hold on. This is not the fight that brought this kind of laceration. You heard what she said. What, who lacerated Mobad's neck? What happened to his hands? What happened to his body? What happened? Did Wumi somehow fought back? Or is it Darosha and Wumi that fought Mobad? What really happened? According to Adura, Adura, the younger brother of Wumi, he has been trying to hide. His mom said, look, it has happened. And she will end up with, it is God's doing. You know, there are people who are naive or wicked. When things like this happen, they will say it is, it is God's doing, that nothing will happen to anyone without God saying yes or knowing about it. Knowing about something is different from doing something about it. That's the truth. We are in this world. And we should be wise enough to know that there are certain bad things that happen. Is it that God is not aware? God is aware of everything. The question is, did God do something about it when it was happening? That's the question. Don't let us fool ourselves. So maybe that is what she has been telling her son at the inquest. You know, it is God's doing. Do not allow the remaining things to scatter. Don't forget that you're also mine. Don't go and say things and let them attack you. Probably trying to put some kind of scare. They want to put it on Naira Mali. But now they realize that it's difficult for them to put it on Naira Mali. Why? I'll tell you for free. If truly Naira Mali and Sam Larry are going to be, you know, this is going to be hanged on their neck. There's no way they will give them bail easily. They will not easily give them bail. But look at it. They were not both around. But the question is, did any of them instruct Wumi? Is Wumi working for them? 
What exactly is this thing? Or is this a, a much more large, bigger conspiracy? What exactly is it? But if Samlari, Naramali are not part of the RIP itself, but let us say chain of events, because that's what the Nigerian police said, that the cumulative, the chain of events, the bullying of Samlari and Nairamali, which we have not seen any single video of Nairamali or audio of Nairamali. We've not heard any. Or have you heard or seen? What we have only seen is one video and some couple of screams and shouts from Mubat saying, should anything happen to me, hold the Malian record label. And people conclude they're saying, well, it might not be recorded because it happened like, you know, in a kind of, um, you know, in a, in a kind of, uh, you know, unusual thing, something that you are not prepared for. All right, let's say there are no video evidence because he did it well and make sure there are no videos. And moreover, even if he had, what about the smartphone, his iPhone, that she wiped off, according to Mobad, who me wiped it off. So if there are videos that he recorded of what happened, where are those videos all wiped off? Why? Because evidence must be cleaned down. And why? Why did Wumi do this on behalf of Sheyi, the so-called manager, or on behalf of Naira Mali? You see that the conspiracy is much. So guys, if we now conclude that Wumi R.I.P. Mobad, we, 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 we are not wrong. We are not wrong. There are those who have said that if Wumi had stood behind Mobad and not played behind, you know, that kind of... I'm married to you, but I'm still your enemy. Maybe Mubad will be alive, but she did not stand firmly behind him. Maybe. So we are right to say Wumi must be held accountable. Wumi must be interrogated. She must spit out the truth. She must say exactly what happened. We don't want all of this hearsay, hearsay, uh, and all of those stories twisted here and there by this same group of people. We want the truth, and it can only be revealed by interrogation so guys i don't know what you think about this one this is heavy drop your comment like and share see you in the next update